Hello, um, National University Academy Career Path students working on your GDs, and a few of your algebra students who are working on uh, percentage problems and trinomials. Um, I'm going to go over two types of problems, or maybe even three, in this brief segment. I'm going to talk about multiplying fractions because I was glad to see that Elizabeth worked on those this week. Uh, and we talked about um, looking for factors and um, cross multiplying. Uh, we talked about percentages today uh, with Fermi, and last week we also talked about percentages. I'm going to go over that right now. And then I'm going to go over a little bit later in this segment trinomials. Uh, so it will be a compact segment. I'll try to get it done in 10 minutes. Um, I wanted to pass on to all of you that um, I like what I'm seeing. Your scores are good. Uh, for uh, Jessica, you're making an improvement on the trinomials and your basic algebra. For uh, Fermi, I, I really like what I'm seeing as far as um, your your uh, understanding of uh, you're, you're quick with your times tables and your division. Which that's excellent. That's going to be a huge asset to you going into the GED. Uh, and then um, Paula, your 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 background in geometry is going to save you some time as we close that gap. And of course, your score in the practice test was very uh, good. So uh, as far as math goes. We're just going to fill in some blanks, nail down some uh, a few loose areas, and then we're done. We're, we're good to go. So let's look at a, a, um, a quick problem that Fermi mentioned to me today, or it was actually uh, this morning when he walked in, and I, I, I kind of gave him a blank, like, uh, you're not sure about that problem. Because uh, I wasn't thinking directly about the test. I was thinking about his practice sheet. But this is probably the problem he was looking at from the uh, release GED questions. It's a question that asks you to do the following. It says, a department store advertises a clearance sale that offers take an additional 40% off the sales price uh, of a coat that was originally $75. It's now on sale for $50. Bucks, $50. What is the clearance price? So let's take a look at that. Now, I talked to uh, Paula and, and Fermi today and a few others about um, what's called ratio and proportion. And what we do there is we say, okay, um, this 50 is over 100. It's the percentage, right? We talked about what a percentage is. A percentage is always something over 100. So 1% is 1 over 100. Any number there on out. And of course, we even talked about numbers that were um, over 100 talked about um, some, something like 109 percent and you're thinking well how can you have more than 100 percent of something but nonetheless if we said 1.09 as a decimal or if we express that as a percentage 109 over 100 remember when you divide that in you're gonna have 1 what's left over and 9 over 100 so we talked a little bit about how to express these percentages, and I'll go over that more with you in class. Right now I'm going to look at this department store clearance sale. We need to figure out what we're actually going to pay before we walk out of the store, because we don't, got, we don't want to get ripped off. And we want to pass the GED the first time we go down there. So let's look at it. We got um, 50 over 100 and X over 40. So why did I set it up this way? Well, they, they tell you that $75 was the original price. If I focus on that, um, I'm forgetting that $50 is the price I now have to deal with. Because it's $40 off the sale price. The sale price is $50. Bucks. $50. So $50 over $100, or $50 is the total amount. What is 40%? So here's our X. That's the question mark in this problem. If I wanted to throw in a question mark here, what is the, what does this cost? Fifty is the total amount, the hundred percent. What is forty percent? So I put them next to each other. You can see if I draw a line here, hundred is to forty as fifty is to whatever over here, or fifty is to hundred as x is to forty. So we can cross multiply and divide. I can go. This is my x. 100x equals, I have 40 times 50, and I, of course I will do the math. 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 
4 times 5 is 20. So 2,000. Looks like a big number. Now, Fairman and I talked about a couple ways to look at this. We talked about just lopping off the zeros because I got two zeros here. All right, but let's do the algebra first. Let's do it algebraically first, and then I'll talk about shortcuts. So algebraically, I would go, well, I need to get x alone. x is over here hanging out with 100. x is like, I do not want to hang out. with 100. I want to be all alone to find out exactly what my amount is. So in order to do that, 100 is multiplying the x or, or, or times in the x. So I'm going to divide. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do the opposite here. That gets rid of this term. Then I have 2,000. I have 100 underneath it. And if I actually do the long division on this, angling the computer screen down a second, I have 100 into 2,000. Clear some space. 100 goes into 200 how many times? Well, we know it goes in two times. 200. Zero, zero. What's left? 0. 20. The other way to shortcut this that Fairman and I talked about, as far as percentages go, let's go back to this step. So I have my 2,000 after I cross multiplied. 5 times 40 is 2,000, 100x. So I have 100x equals 2,000. One way to do this is I just need to make this a 1x. So lop off my zeros. Or, whoops, this was 2,000, not 200. My mistake. Lop off my zeros here and here, and I have 20 bucks. So I'm taking 40% off. I just found what 40% of 50 is. Now, as you know with all tests, they throw in a few questions that bait you to select the wrong answer. They want they, they think that if you're not paying attention, you're gonna uh, be quick to solve the problem and miss another calculation. So what's the next thing we need to do? We need to take the 20 off of that 50. So my, the, the garment was originally 50 bucks or the what is it, a coat? It's fifty dollars. We need to take twenty dollars away from that. We're going to get it for thirty dollars. So I'm going to walk out of there with that jacket or this coat for thirty dollars now. Not bad. Uh, so I'm going to come back with you uh, with a trinomial review in a second. Um, I'm really uh, pumped up about how you guys are doing on the GD. You're doing great. Uh, I know you can pass it the first time you go down there. We need to get some fundamentals down on the science, maybe a little bit of review in history, but I'm very hopeful for all of you to pass the first time. So these are, this is just one example of a percentage problem and uh, looking at the answers, just so you know what this question looked like, this is a GED practice or released question and we can see our answer on here is three thirty dollars So thanks for chiming in with me on this one. Um, I have a little bit more time left, but I'm going to cut it short here and come back with you with a separate segment on trinomials so I can review some information for both Jessica and um, uh, Paula for uh, trinomials. So I'll be right back. Uh, that was the percentage problem that Fermi mentioned this morning. Um, see you in class. Keep up the good work. Talk to you soon. Bye.